What? Okay then. Welcome, 200 people who subscribed from the hit single essay. Okay, no jokes, I am super, super happy to see how many people are coming to my channel. It's been so nice seeing something I worked really hard on get such high praise. As a celebration for so many eyes on the video, I'm now going to give a little recap on some of the stuff that's happened since the upload, ordered from least to most exciting. First up, I hit the subscriber goal for video monetization, a thousand subscribers. Thank you all, genuinely, for liking my videos. The second requires some backstory. So, there's this guy. His name is Ironic. Ironic is a composer for hit single, along with a few other mods. Some examples include stuff like Mario's Madness, where he made the main title and helped with Unbeatable, uh, he was on Funkin' at Freddy's 2, and he also made a good bit of music for Garn. Out of nowhere, he just... friends me. On Discord. Most likely through the Garn47 Discord server, which I've been in for a while. So, naturally, I ask, yes? while silently freaking out. After a bit of him typing, he just complimented the essay, which of course I was very thankful for. Because of that thankfulness, I gave him a little tidbit about the video. The fact that it was written entirely off of memory, which it was. I wrote the entire video in under 20 hours, technically 12 because I slept, and then edited the video in about 5 days. By the way, during editing, my buddy Sam corrected me twice, and I also got something else wrong that I found out later, which... I'll let you tell me whether it's a problem or not that roughly 5,666 words that I had written off of memory were wrong three times. Anyways, Ironic then asked if I had any questions about Garn. I couldn't think of anything, so I just asked for a hint to the third ending, which I haven't gotten yet. Then he said, bring the radio to the Golden City. Of course, I reacted accordingly, with worry, since the Desert Garn section is in the town and accessed by the radio. For those uninformed, the Desert Garn section is a two and a half hour long, no joke, desert bus zone. You have to get to 10,000 distance on the distance meter, and your distance goes up one every second. Googling 10,000 seconds and hours gives 2.777778 hours, or 2 hours and 45 minutes, roughly. You have to be constantly attentive as well. You can't just leave the game running. If you go off the road, you lose 100 distance or a minute and a half of your life. You have to constantly make sure you're not off the road, but you also can't go straight ahead. You're always driving at a slight angle right or a slight angle left. As if that was not the worst part, it will randomly change your direction, and your only warning for it is that you move. No audio. So you can understand my worry when he said to go to the town and get the radio. After saying, please don't tell me it's Desert Bus, he responded with a Dante Devil May Cry featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series GIF. So excuse me while I waste near three hours of my life. Now, onto the actual fun facts that Ironic told me. Oh, yeah, a fun fact about the Car Zero stuff. Flimbo didn't tell anyone about that part of the game. <laughs> no dev builds, she just dropped the dev build in the group chat saying, Oh, I did some bug fixes. She's just kind of awesome like that. Oh yeah, and also pertaining to the Car Zero ending, you know the room in Garn's house with the Garn clones? Yeah? That's called the Unremembering Room. Named as such because I don't remember making the song that plays there. I apparently sent it in the group chat at about 6am one day in July, and Flumbo doesn't remember making the room before she turned it into what it is. That is... weirdly fitting. Yep. Wait, July? Garn has been in the works for a while. Hold on, let me check the group chat. I'll see when the oldest message was. June 15th, 2023. Wow, so a year and a couple weeks. Seemed to start as a group chat between Sturm, Flumbo, and Scrumbo. And the first message there was a call that lasted eight hours. Whoa. I was added to the chat about three weeks later. Most of it was concepting. Actual, like, hardcore development took about four months on Flumbo's end. That feels really short for how much is in the game. Yeah, no, Flumbo is... scary. Blood, sweat, tears, and copious amounts of sleep deprivation are what made the game possible. One more Garn fun fact before I sleep. Have you happened to stumble upon the PC setup in Garn's house? I have. I assumed it was Churchney's or Flumbo's. That's what you'd think, but it's mine. I was in a VC with Flumbo at like 3am while she was working on Garn, and I was just saying bullshit, 
and one of the things that I said was, Hey, wouldn't it be really funny if you could just find a PC setup in Garn's house and it's just my setup? She just said, send a picture. So I did, and then proceeded to watch her model and texture it for 20 minutes. And one final, distressing fact that I got while writing this video. I'm sure Flumbo wouldn't mind any of this being public. Sick, thanks. I said nothing about the lore, so you should be fine. Like, the game's lore, I mean. Yeah. Wait, I didn't even consider that fact. Garn has lore. Yep. I think MatPat should be glad he retired before Garn47 came out. Next up, something a bit shorter. Flumbo. Flumbo was actually the first person on the hit sing Garn team that I asked to watch the essay. I shot her a DM at like 3.30 in the morning, not expecting anything of it. But they responded! About half an hour after I sent the DM, they messaged me back, simply saying incredible video and leaving a really nice comment on it. Oh, right, I should probably explain who Flumbo is. If it isn't obvious already, she developed the entirety of Garn. And, like Ironic said, in a scarily short time. Like I said, Flumbo's section is a bit shorter through no fault of their own. I'm still very glad she liked the video, she just didn't have much to say, which I understand. Now for the biggest surprise of this entire week since the essay went up. Churjni Gurjni, the main director, main composer, and main character of Garn 47, technically it was his face plastered onto Garn, watched the video. Like I said earlier, I had no intentions of messaging Sturm. Oh yeah, by the way, he has two names. Sturm Video and Churchny Gurchny. I didn't think I'd ever end up DMing him about the video, but I was in a VC with Sam the Lol, or Man Himself 45 here on YouTube, and we were talking a bit about the essay and how happy we both were that it was doing well. He had brought up that, from what he's seen, Churchny is actually a really nice guy, and often responds to DMs he sent. Originally, I just said, nah, I don't want to bother him. Then, later on in the night, I actually thought about it a bit more and said, Eh, screw it, no harm in trying. So I sent a message at like 2am. Hopefully by now you can tell that my sleep schedule is just about as bad as a hit single teams. Saying, in summary, Yo, I put a lot of work into this video. If you watched it and corrected me or gave me criticism, I'd be extremely honored and ecstatic. Then, nothing. But only for a day. About 23 hours later, he actually responded. Me and Sam were in a VC again when he did, and we both started freaking out. All he said was simply, Oh shit, I'll give this a look. Words could not describe how insanely excited me and Sam were. No joke, having Sturm DM me probably kept him up for another hour or two that night. Then, the wait began once more. Assumedly, since he was busy, he didn't end up getting to watch it for another day or so. However, once he did, dude, I could not even begin to describe how excited I was. He messaged me again at about 2.30 a.m., saying, I'm watching it right now, this rules. There was some more conversation about the video here and there, including some stuff I literally can't show you. Not because it's bad, but because Churchney asked me not to keep it in. But one thing I can show you is this. Apparently Car, with two R's, Car's sister, is pronounced with a rolling R. So, car. Again, there was some more stuff that happened. By the way, don't go into Sturm's DMs and harass him to reveal what he told me. He's genuinely a really nice guy, and he does not deserve to be spammed just because he wanted some stuff to be kept under wraps. It's his choice whether or not to reveal stuff like that, and if he doesn't want something to be public information, then that's fine. You'll all find out eventually anyways. On that topic, don't go into any of the devs DMs and ask them a ton of questions. The first reason is just because I don't even know if they would respond, and the second because I'm in a very unique spot right now. I firmly believe that the only reason I was able to perceive so much information is because of the work I put into the video essay. I earned their trust and the ability to ask those questions, and I doubt that they would want people just constantly going into their DMs and asking them a ton of questions, with no guarantee that the secret stuff is kept secret. TLDR, don't harass the hit single or Garn team. I got put in a scenario that led me to be able to ask them questions. I did not go out of my way to randomly DM them and ask them when the next Garn update is coming out. That would be stupid and annoying. By the way, read the welcome channel of the Garn Discord server. Garn 47 is the hit single game. It will be updated every time hit single updates. 
Be patient, goofs. We'll get updates when we get them. Anyways, serious mode over. I genuinely cannot thank you all enough for the attention on the video. It means a lot. I do have a quick question, however. Should I keep making video essays and gaming videos like I have been doing, aka an occasional video essay and monthly gaming videos? Should I do monthly alternating videos, like one month as an essay, the next as a gaming video? Or should I do more essays and only have an occasional gaming video? In my eyes, I think the best route would probably be option B, but I genuinely do want to know what you guys would rather have me do with my channel going forward. I really, really like the idea of being a hybrid channel though, and I really don't want to give up gaming videos just to be an all essay channel. The first problem with that is that it'd be way too much work for me. The second is that there's already enough solely essay YouTube channels. I want to stand out from the crowd and have both types of video no matter what. Rambling aside, thanks for watching my dumb little essay on Garn. While I was hoping for success with it, I wasn't expecting it, and I am very glad to have gotten it. Also, please subscribe to my second channel. I post there way more, and I'm going to start putting extra footage that isn't turned into a full video there. As a small little teaser for something I'm uploading there later, have the screenshot. Nothing else. Just a screenshot. See you all next month. Thanks, you got it. KO! Gone for